to pre and post natal care and beyond. For many of our clients, Planned Parenthood is their only regular health care provider and their sole point of entry into the health care system. We believe it's incredibly important that women and the health care providers that they rely on most, their OBGYNs, their pediatricians, have the information needed to identify postpartum depression and the resources needed to properly address it. That's why Planned Parenthood supports HR 20, which will ensure a broader understanding of the causes of postpartum depression and postpartum conditions more broadly, and help to improve diagnostic techniques, treatments, and education programs to ensure that every woman suffering from postpartum gets the services she needs. For too many women, this condition goes undiagnosed for too long, and this delay in appreciating the power of the condition uh, for what it is can be deadly, and I speak to this point um, from personal experience. A little photo of my goddaughters. Okay. Last month, um, their mother threw them their first birthday party, and it was a true celebration not only of their first year of life, but of her surviving it and of her life. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, what was initially mistaken for exhaustion for caring for twins and the anxiety of new motherhood was, in fact, postpartum anxiety disorder, um, a truly terrifying condition that nearly took my friend's life. Twice, this beautiful, loving, healthy woman came close to trying to free herself from PP, postpartum anxiety through suicide. Twice, she stopped just short of it. The scariest day of my life came earlier this year when I was boarding a plane with Dallas to go out to California to visit her. And I called her as I was sitting down on the plane, and she mistook and thought that I was at the airport on the other side. And she um, pleaded with me to hurry, that she couldn't be left alone, and she didn't know what she would do. It was the longest five hours of my life lying out there. So thankfully, um, this woman who is herself a family therapist and her husband is a family therapist, um, was connected and eventually was able to get it diagnosed for what it was. And through proper treatment and support of her family, she has survived and she is finally enjoying motherhood and re-engaging with life. And it is a true blessing. So on behalf of Planned Parenthood, um, on behalf of my best friend and women and mothers everywhere, I just cannot tell you how much I appreciate what you're doing, Congressman Raj. Uh, and I urge the House to pass this legislation, and I beg the Senate to take it up and get this done this year so that new mothers don't have to wait for the help they deserve. starting point then, it, which is related to something that a couple of the members of the panel have asked is, uh, while it's coming up under a suspension order today, uh, what the actual chances are and who's supporting it in the Senate? Uh, well, I think we got a great opportunity in the Senate. Once the House passes, with the margin of, of votes that I expect it to pass by, I expect it to pass overwhelmingly. And that certainly gives a lot of momentum as it goes into the Senate. As you know, there's a companion bill, although differing in some aspects, uh, that's already been introduced in the Senate. Uh, but I've, uh, uh, I know that uh, in the past years, the uh, majority group has been one of the co-sponsors of the bill. Uh, I, uh, the uh, uh, Senator Clinton has uh, been supportive of the bill throughout the years. Uh, she was at one time considering in the Senate. So I just think that, you know, I believe it's going to pass in the Senate. This is a common sense piece of legislation. Uh, it's, the time has come, uh, and I think the Senate will follow the lead of the House of Representatives. Anybody else? I'd just like to thank you again, Congressman Rosh. I'm looking forward to this.
significant pieces of legislation that we had to pass, including the uh, monies to help with the uh, with the tuition, cutting the tuition rates for college students and that kind of thing. So we had all these bills passed. And then I tried to get HR 11. HR 11 was taken. Right? I didn't want anything else until they said, well, what about HR 20? So we negotiated, I got HR 20. <laughs> but it was a process in terms of getting this high number, and I am so glad that 